Yeah, what? Hey, okay. Wake up. Is this thing on? Order corn. Hey, howdy, folks. So, to this day, my most popular video is uh, from a few years ago when I hooked my PSVR up to my PC and was playing some Elite Dangerous. And at the time, it wasn't really easy for me to just say, hey, go to this link and you can set this up easily. It was early days, took a bunch of specific tweaks for my system to even get it up and running. But things have evolved a bit since then. Now, I just want to say right off the bat, the joking video of me trying to set it up and it not working very well, that is not an exaggeration. It is still a far cry below even the cheapest PC VR setups and not nearly as good as it is tracked on the PlayStation with their proprietary software, doing it through my single lens webcam. Not very good. But that being said, all you have to do now is download Trinus VR, uh, the program that I was using just for the basic turn on the PSVR itself before. Now they've, uh, it appears they've licensed Morpix and the utility I was using to make the webcam do experimental tracking. It's all built into Trinus, so I'm just gonna put the link here. Uh, it's amazing, they've got a tutorial that shows you how to hook it up and do everything. Like me making my own tutorial would be utterly pointless compared to how good their website is now and how good their information and help is. So that's all you need to get this set up. It'll walk you through everything, installing the drivers, setting up the experimental tracking through your webcam, which again, is not great. This is, this is really a novelty. It actually works pretty well with head tracking only games. Uh, like racing and flying games, Elite Dangerous is still a good example. Uh, it, it, the head tracking is not bad and works pretty well. It's convincing enough, it's about on par with some of the lower end VR headsets. But once again, it's Sony's proprietary software through the PS4 camera that really makes it work as well as it does. So yeah, it's not the greatest, you know, still kind of a novelty of just like, hey, look, you can do this, this is fun. And it is pretty fun to play Elite Dangerous, even though it's a little lower resolution than, you know, the uh, the Rift or something. It's still, it, it's pretty cool being able to move your head around. And, you know, it's all played with the controller or the keyboard and mouse, so it, it works out pretty well. But uh, yeah, now uh, it's super easy to do this. Anyone who has a PSVR and a PC that can support low-end VR requirements can totally hook this up and uh, be going in a few minutes. Oh, also there is a premium version of this app. I still have it. Uh, like I mentioned, I purchased it back with my, uh, when I did my original video. And so uh, I don't know what the limitations are because I already had the premium one and I was able to redeem it. But you do have to pay a small amount to make this work. I think it's pretty reasonable, honestly. Um, yeah, because I mean, if you really want to do this seriously, pay a little bit to make it happen uh, is reasonable. So yeah, that's that. Oh, that is awesome. So yep, I am doing what it looks like here. I am indeed playing Breath of the Wild in Toy-Con VR mode. But oh, it just kicked me out when I uh, pulled it out of there. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, the, another cool thing about using Trinus here is it allows you to turn on the PlayStation box without a PlayStation. So say for some weird, weird reason you have a PSVR and a Switch and you don't have a PlayStation 4, which is the case here because I just borrowed the PSVR from my friend. Um, you can totally get the box to turn on with uh, something like Trinus, and then you can still route it through from the Switch straight to the goggles, and you can play Zelda, and it uh, does it in 1080p, because once you go into the dock, uh, it switches to 1080p resolution. So it's not only is it better fidelity using the PSVR than the cardboard Toy-Con, but it's also running at 1080p rather than 720p, because you're going off the Switch's own screen when you use the Toy-Con. So yeah, hey, you may have heard that you can use the PSVR for Zelda, but I bet you haven't heard you can do it with a PS or with a PC without even having a PS4. So I'm gonna play a little more. <laughs> 